Welcome to TechSit Tutorials. Today we're going to learn about a very important attribute called style in HTML. Style is an attribute and this is how you write attribute. Uh, attributes are written by a key value pair. So the way you write is a key and an equal sign and then a value goes in double quotes. So here in this example, in a paragraph, um, we're writing id equal to first paragraph, where id is key and first paragraph its value. And remember, it always goes in the opening tag, never in the closing tag. So style helps you. Uh, style help you put the element on your HTML page and it decides how and where the elements going to be displayed. Now let's look at this example. So we have a paragraph here um, with some content blah and if you look at on the right side you have it you know let's assume that it's displayed like this you know just a text on your HTML page. Now let's say you want to make the background of this paragraph red how do you do this you would add style attribute and then you would so your key would be style and your value is going to be background dash color colon red and when you when you render this into onto an HTML page it looks when you render this onto your HTML page, you would see the background to be red. Now let's uh, let's look at it uh, uh, in action. So we're gonna actually write this code and see how it looks in on using one of the code playgrounds. First thing you have to do is uh, open this URL jsfiddle.net on either Chrome or Firefox browser. Now, uh, quick tutorial on this. You have four boxes here. Um, the the left top box where you write your HTML. Here on your right top, you write your CSS, which we we'll learn later on. Uh, on your bottom left, you write your JavaScript, and the bottom right, you would see the result. So let's write that paragraph here. Um, first, I'm just going to write the pain plain paragraph and I'm going to click here run and as you can see the the result I see uh, the content of the paragraph here uh, now I'm going to add a style attribute here style equal to colon red now if I run it again as you can see the background of this paragraph is red um, why is it covering the entire area we'll we'll discuss this later um, in the next chapter but the point is that uh, it converts the background to be red. So in that example, if you look at it, um, the style attribute, you have for the value, you have two parts. The background color is called style name and it has a value, red, which calls star style value and it's separated by a colon. Now you can actually have two styles as a value. Now uh, the as you can see the semicolon separates styles. So style you write style one which is background colon red where background color is your um, 
style one name and red is a style one value and font size is a style two name and 30 pixel is a style, style two value um, and both styles are separate by semicolon this way of writing style is called inline styling because we are adding the style directly into an element but there are a few problems with that and one of the biggest problem is it's hard to read let's say it's very hard to read because if you have many style um, separated by semicolon it becomes really hard to read for example uh, this line has actually forced five different styles it has a background color font size it has font weight to be bold color of the text to be green and it displays as a block now right now I'm actually separating by color but when you're writing it it's it becomes one big blob and that's very hard to read a second problem is redundancy as if you have three different paragraphs and you want to have the same style for all three paragraphs then you have to inline style each of them and you have to write the same style over and over um, now this is just a simple example but let's say if you have an HTML page with 100 paragraphs and you want to have the same style for each of them that would be quite a bit of work and imagine changing uh, let's say somebody let's say you want to change your font size from 20 pixel to 15 pixel you have to change it in every single paragraph which is a lot of work so the solution to this is cascading style sheet CSS so if you get back to this example um, earlier example let's create in the JS fiddle let's create three different paragraphs so I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna paste it I'm just gonna do five paragraphs um, and each paragraph has the same style now I'm gonna run this again and as I as you can see I have five different paragraphs on the result which has red font color and I can actually let's go back to the example and I'm going to add two more style to it like font size 30 pixel and I'm going to add something else color color means color of the font um, to be white and I'm going to run it and voila you have the white color white font color and red background and the font size is 30 pixel now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make four more paragraphs with the same style now as you can see it's getting really cluttered here and there's no need to write the same thing over and over so what is the solution so if we use a style sheet a cascading style sheet what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the stats from here actually I'm gonna remove the entire thing uh, So what I'm going to do is move this style over. First, I'm going to move this style over to here in the CSS. And 
remove it from every paragraph. Instead, I'm going to add a different attribute called class. And I'm going to name it first CSS. And we're going to copy that class. To each paragraph. Now this class works as a reference and you use this reference to define the style. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write first CSS and class represented by just a dot. It's called class selector. So if I write dot first CSS, that means I'm talking about class CSS. I know it's too much to take in right now, but let's not go too much into detail. And I'm just going to copy the entire style in here. And I'm going to separate it nicely so that I can see it much clearly. Now here you, what you have is you have a class here first CSS and over here in the CSS area you define the style for that class. So this applies to each of the paragraph. It's very simple and um, it really worked nicely. So if I'm gonna, if I run this, it does exactly the same thing. But you can see how clear this is. Now, if I just want to change this font size from 30 to 40, all I have to do is change the font type, font size, and if I want to do the color to be, let's say, um, blue, I can just do it in one place and all four paragraph has blue color now. So that's the power of CSS. So in the next tutorial, we are going to learn about CSS selectors. Uh, you know how we, we define dot as, you know how dot is a class selector. We're gonna uh, look at some other selectors and there are very many. We are looking some, we're gonna look at some other way to select. Um, so please uh, feel free to like the video, uh, comment it, and subscribe to the channel so that uh, you can enjoy.